Tyler Kepke with Flight Basketball Academy and Coach Base. Today I'm going to go over the bounce off, which is a great move in the half court to set your man up. Okay, so what the bounce off is, I like to call it a setup move, and that's one of my favorite things to do. Steve Nash, Chris Paul, Darren Williams, they all use it in various forms. So simply what it is, is when you're in a game and you have a little bit of room to operate, you use the bounce off to set your man up with something. So basically, in a simple way, it's just a little side shuffle. It can be one, it can be two, it can be three. It doesn't really matter how many times you do it, but it's just to kind of get your defender to lull him to sleep. So I might do one, two, and then I'm gonna hit him with something. Now that I showed you what the bounce off is, I'm gonna show you all the different things you can do out of the bounce off. For the first bounce off, when I, my shoulders are facing the rim, that's called a squared up bounce off. Okay, so the first option out of the bounce off when you're squared up that I'm going to use as an example is the Steve Nash. So what Steve Nash does a lot is he does a hesitation out of it with a hip turn. And what that is in slow motion is I bounce off one, two, and as I'm doing it, I turn my hips and then explode out of it. So what it looks like is I bounce one, two, hip turn, and explode. So what you're doing is you're selling your defender that you might go that way. A lot of defenders, they're looking at this area. So the hip turn, it might freeze them for a split second, and then it gives you a chance to go and beat your defender. Okay, now that I showed you the bounce off with the hip turn, I'm gonna give you two options you have out of that. So like I said, firstly, you have the bounce off, bounce off, hip turn and sell, and go to the rim. Secondly, it's a great way to set up a pull up with your right hand. If I'm bouncing off to the right, and now I've already beat my defender with it a couple times, I'll sell with my hips, and then right left into my shot. Now it's very important that if I do my bounce off into my pull up with my right hand, my footwork has to be right left. So to show you one more time, I bounce off, bounce off, hip turn, right left into my pull up. Okay, so now that we're finished with the first move out of the bounce off, which was the hip turn with a hesitation, I just wanna make sure that you guys focus on number one, a big hip turn and sell with your hips and shoulders, and number two, driving off that back foot when you decide to go, either into your pull up or your hesitation and go. Okay, so the second move that I'm gonna to talk to you about off the bounce off that you can use is one that I showed in the last video is the inside out. It's also a great move to use on the bounce off. So what it's gonna look like is pretty much the same. Bouncing off one, two, okay, and then the same thing. Big side step in and out and go. And out of that, again, you have a lot of options. I can bounce off, bounce off, in and out and go. I can also bounce off, bounce off, in and out and pull up. And again, notice my feet on my pull up. Every time when you use a bounce off and I'm pulling up to the right, it's always going to be right left into my shot. Okay, now the third and final move out of a squared up bounce off that you can use, and again, there's infinite you can use, I'm just giving you three examples. Uh, my favorite is the Fila Legs crossover, otherwise known as the UTEP two-step, made famous by Tim Hardaway. So what you're going to do, same thing, you start with your bounce off one, two, maybe two, three, or one, and then you're going to go hard for your legs and cross it over. You're doing this because maybe you went, you did your bounce off the first time, then went through your legs and went by, went by your man. So now he's playing your left hand on the bounce off. This is a great way to set him up. Do the legs cross over and go. Okay, now that I get, showed you what the bounce off is and gave you three moves you can use out of it, I just want to quickly recap the most important focuses are. So number one, with the Steve Nash hesitation and hip turn, is obviously number one, a good sell with the hip turn and a good hard push off that back leg. Number two, on the inside out, sell it with the bounce off, and then a nice big inside out like we've covered before, nice big side step, sell with the head and shoulders and go. And lastly, with the double cross, with the through the legs crossover, it's very important that when I'm bouncing off and I sell like I'm going to the middle, I gotta sell it with my head and shoulders that I'm really going to the middle and then I'm pulling it back and crossing it over.